everybody. It's time once again for one of my once in a very great while outfit videos. And today I'm showing you guys my vintage maternity style. So I'm currently at about 17 weeks. And as you can imagine, a lot of my clothing doesn't fit. And so I've done a couple sewing projects, one of which is from this 1940s pattern here. This is an original vintage pattern. And I'm still working on the top, but today I'm going to show you guys the pants. And I especially wanted to show these to you because they're so different from modern maternity. And I wanted to show you guys some of the features because they're so unique. And I think they're kind of a structural engineering wonder. So I'm going to show you guys how to put it on. And these are especially unique because there's no elastic and no stretch fabric in the entire garment. So I was intrigued by this. I couldn't imagine because all of our modern maternity wear is stretch. But the adjustable part of these pants comes from these flaps that you see on the front and back. And then wrapping the little straps around and then tying them is what makes it adjustable. So like I said, there's no stretch or elastic. But you bring the front panel up and you tie bows on each side and that's basically what gives you the adjustable side and I tried these pants on when I was barely pregnant and of course they fit now I'm at 17 weeks and I expect them to last my whole pregnancy so they're pretty unique so different from modern maternity pants but they're ridiculously comfortable I made them out of rayon so they're really light and they're gonna be perfect this summer and admittedly, as you see them right here, without a blouse on top, they're not the most flattering thing. I mean, they're baggy, um, but in the 40s, they were not into tight maternity clothes, so this fits. And especially, they wouldn't have really tucked anything into these pants. They would have worn a blouse like the one that I'm getting ready to show you. So this one is from the 1950s, most likely, but 40s and 50s maternity blouses are really similar. It's got a pseudo-Egyptian print, which I really love, because for those of you that don't know me as well, I lived in Egypt in high school, and I like to collect little Egyptian-themed things like this brooch. And with the whole outfit, it's kind of baggy, but it's so comfortable. And I put on a hat with it, of course, because it's summer. And I also have an Egyptian-themed bag, because I like collecting these things. Things that are both Egyptian and vintage, they just feel kind of like me. It feels very much like I'm wearing something that represents who I am as a third culture kid, having been in both cultures. And when I found this purse, it spoke to me because of, you're getting ready to see a close-up, it's super Egyptian. <laughs> so I used to live in Giza, where the pyramids are. So, of course, this features those. And I just love collecting pieces like this. I like fashion that expresses who I am. And these vintage Egyptian pieces are some of those things. And as you can see, I have plenty of room for my belly. Got plenty of room and it's totally comfortable. And I've also noticed that vintage maternity smocks tend to have large pockets, which I believe are for snacks. So fantastic feature of vintage maternity always the snack pockets. So the outfit is really comfortable, super flowy. I don't have to put any other layers under it, which is really nice and great for summer. I also paired it with these super comfortable wedges. So these are Eris Allens. They are technically dance shoes and have a leather sole, but that just makes them really comfortable. I actually walked a lot today and I wear these shoes all the time and my feet always feel good at the end of the day and they're really stable with the wedge heel which as a pregnant woman is really important. I topped it all off with this giant sun hat because it's kind of almost springy summer here in Idaho and I feel like the big hat kind of balances out the baggy proportions of the rest of the outfit especially because I'm kind of a petite person. So there you guys go. That's a rundown of my 1940s vintage maternity look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.